Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick, as always, and call me Tetra Ninja, and we are once again back playing some Mafia 3. So, I have pretty much given up on actually counting the end bombs or the racial slurs myself. I'm gonna lean on you guys as a community because when I'm shooting a bunch of shit, <laughs> I just can't do it. I know we're probably in the mid 20s, but if I wait for you guys to give me an update, then that would slow down the progress of the videos, and then. You guys don't want that because you guys want your videos fast and quick and heavy and heated. So in order to keep the video just coming in quickly, I'm going to just let you guys count it. And then I'll give you guys a rough estimate of where I think it is at. And then we'll just kind of work from there, right? We'll work together. So we're in the mid-20s, I know that. Oh shit. I just broke that. Uh, do I have to pay for it? <laughs> So this is why she's called the Voodoo Queen. All right, let's go talk to Miss Cassandra. Two sets dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Two set got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man, Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. If I were in like a legal shady business, like mafioso type stuff, I would like have like a taster with me at all times. Like she just passed him a drink right there. He took it down without like even thinking about it. She could have laced that shit with LSD or something. Fucked us right up. I'd hire someone to taste for me and hire someone to constantly be looking up for me. That's what I was I would do if I was a bad guy. All right, Emmanuel. We need to calm some nerves. Is that what you're saying? Are we cool? We Gucci fool? Why is it telling me to go all the... GPS, that is the worst. What the hell is this? Hmm. Because, okay. There must be a reason why it's telling me to do that first. Okay, let's do that first. It's like bisecting into the mission, so there must be a reason why we had to talk to Donovan first. Otherwise, that is the worst GPS system I've ever designed. Even worse than Apple Maps! Okay, never mind. Nothing's worse than Apple Maps, but you know what I'm saying. Friends like these. Bonjourno, you cheese-eating surrender monkeys! I didn't make that up. Simpsons. Oh, 
Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. We got it. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point for Dunn back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> that action shot. He's been spending shot. his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. What else we got? The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner will give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Man, that's so greasy. Won't let him... Haven't the people down here heard about a little invention called air conditioning? Right. Didn't pay his cuts so he wouldn't be able to pay back his debts so he can just eventually whack him. That is such a greasy move. I like it. I like it. Quit right, I'm gonna do this manual mission first because I don't want a Haitian popping me in the back of the head because I killed Baka. Gotta smooth some things over. What a beautiful sunset. Oh look, a double rainbow. Alright, what's up? No one said anything about getting my feet wet. Need more cashola. Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own whisk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Did those white boys scare you, Fred? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? <laughs> Sandra failed to mention your charming personality. Uh, I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana, Fred. My cargo was refugees, people. 
I saved their lives. Caught them away from Duvalier? But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Sandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people. But I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my choice to come here. Leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. How about we got a cutscene? I was actually expecting some very poor made side quest, to be honest with you. <laughs> a shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Let's see. Cassandra never opened up to me about her own history. As much as I tried to be an ear when she needed to talk, letting go and trusting are very hard to do. If you could point out the direction of the mission, that would be fantastic. Stow it. Sniper point. Hit that. Cash. Grab more adrenaline. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. Alrighty. Um, go visit Father James. Install wiretaps. I don't see where we're supposed to go, so we're gonna go over here. Actually, maybe I should wiretap this. Yeah, we'll go over here. I won't tease her. Head to Vito Scaletta's. He's in the French ward, by the looks of it. The French ward is the fancy part of this game. That's where all the white people hang out. It is also very far away. How much money I'm holding? 841. That's not a, a worth a trip to make the deposit yet, so. Alright, we're here. That was very weird what just happened with that screen. How you think? Vito's taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill the poor son bitch and get it over with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito till we all respect him. If only all it took was beating up on a washed up carpet bag. A carpet bag? <gasps> what kind of insult is that? I approach by water, amphibian style. Ah, I was about to say, there better be some sort of a dock here. Don't oh my god, it's an alligator! Ah! Jeez, get out of here. You and me ain't getting paid enough to worry about right, Walt. Oh. You know what I mean? Look, 
I get doing them coons over in the holler. Hell, bringing that dumb crack of Richie in makes some kind of sense. But Vito's made. Was made. Word come down from on high that Scullet is out. And that means he's out. Anyway, Greco might be stupid. He might even be crazy. But right now, he's the one calling the shots. Jesus, dude. That's fucked! It's go time, boys! Help me out here! I got a beat Yes! Got him! Fuck! Reload me! Target frag! That gun's mine! We're going. We're going. You ain't tossing nothing. Where I heard that end bomb. So we're at like 26 or something. Whatever. Screw this. How the shit. Yeah, fucked. There you are. Grab some cover. <laughs> <laughs> that actually worked. I didn't think it'd work. Oh shit, guy behind me. It's not a good time to do this, man. But hurry up. Slap this on. Fuck out of me. Look, we're all around. Ain't no one feeling real secure about that place, so we just keep at it. Damn, cut that sack of shit down. Okay. Grab that. We need to grab Where a different handgun. I see Vito back there. Give my Vito. Him Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, he died. He bled out. Boo. I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella is in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. Bullet was deflected by my well, skull. I heard about what happened. I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. I heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What do you
are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Make you an offer you can't refuse. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Oh, sweet. I don't have to. Yes. Where's that goddamn alligator? I'm gonna fuck you up. Come here. You son of a bitch. Yeah, you better run, gator. Oh, come back for more, are ya? Fuck you up. Where are we going? Ain't so tough now, are ya? Okay. What was I doing? <laughs> okay, we have to go talk to some fools here. River Row. Blanchard. Oh, right here. Don't have to go too far. Emergency exit, that's not really an exit. Don't make me call the city on you. Let me go pick up another one of these uh, wiretap deals. Where is it? Homeless guy had it. Gotcha. Put away the gun. Let's have a little chat. Vito says you're reliable. 